Yo, what's up guys, and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. And since lately so many people ask me about my OBS settings and how I literally get no additional lag while streaming Fortnite or other games, I just thought it might be a cool addition to just show you guys my OBS settings and how I set up everything so I get literally no extra latency while streaming or recording. So yeah guys, and as you can see, this is my OBS here normally. Uh, I got right now two webcams plugged in, I have a bunch of stuff here, I don't know, my game recordings, display recordings, member and all that stuff. But yeah, this is more or less all pretty unnecessary for you guys, I would say. So therefore, we're just gonna take a look at these settings, guys, and this is where the magic happens. So as you can see right now, guys, for my output settings, I am actually indeed streaming on the NVIC NVE H264 new codec, which is for NVIDIA graphics cards. And I would always recommend you in the first place to stream over your GPU and not over your processor. Even though you might have a high-end processor like, I don't know, the newest Ryzen 9 or some stuff like that. Please still stream over your GPU. You're just gonna have over way less latency. And trust me guys, it will always give you more FPS and less input delay if you stream over your GPU. And then you can see right now here for the next settings for the rate control, I put in CBR. This is also super important. And the bitrate on 6000. Since Twitch and YouTube can't really handle more than 6000 bitrate, the only thing you could maybe do is upscale your whole picture to something like 4K or stuff like that. But that's not gonna make sense because you're gonna have like so much less FPS. And therefore, just simply copy everything here what I do. And as you can see for the rate control, as mentioned, CBR, we just put it on 6000. The key frame interval, I just put on zero. The preset on performance and the profile on high and then next up as you can see for the gpu we just put it here on zero and the max b frames on two and trust me guys these settings are super good trust me there guys please just copy all of these settings and it's gonna look totally nice and then next up we're gonna move over to the recordings and as you can see i'm recording as well with the cbr um, rate control on 20,000 kilobytes because the thing is with recordings uh, recordings require a little bit more since everything is like getting saved on your PC. So therefore, yeah, you have to just simply put it up to at least something like 15 to 20,000 kilobytes. That's probably like the sweet spot for still like not losing too much FPS, but still having a really good picture. And then next up, the keyframe I also put on zero, but actually I did a huge change here on the presets because I actually put it on quality because in my opinion, recordings should just look really good. That's just simply how it should be. And then next up, the profile on high and more or less everything the same as before uh, while streaming. And then we're just gonna move over here guys to the audio settings and as you can see I didn't change like too much here. Um, the only thing which I did change is I put my sample rate on 48 kilohertz and uh, channels on stereo obviously. Then you just gotta put in exactly everything you're using here for recordings guys. And yeah, this is just normally like for everyone a little bit different because everyone uses like different headphones, different microphones, and stuff like that. And then next up under the meters, I just put it on fast, um, the decay rate and the peak master type I just left on true peak. This might give you a little bit higher CPU usage, but trust me guys, this is gonna sound way, way better. And then next up under the video settings, you can see here that I'm actually streaming natively on 1920 times 1080. You can of course also stream on uh, 1280 times 720 if you wanna save FPS. Uh, let's just say if you guys are on Twitch, use 720p. If you're streaming like me on YouTube, use at least 1080p because YouTube does really downscale it. So therefore at least put in like 1920 times 1080 for YouTube. And yeah, for Twitch, Twitch has like a little bit better codec there, I have to admit. So therefore just put it there on uh, 720p. And the downscale filter I put on area, which is like kind of like the sweet spot, I would say. And the common FPS well, you're obviously on 60 guys because we want to stream on 60 FPS. 30 FPS streams really don't look that great and recordings also not. So therefore, yeah, just keep it like this here. And now under the advanced tab guys, just simply copy everything uh, one by one. The processor priority, just leave it on normal there. If you maybe struggle a little bit more with the recordings, put it like above normal, but that should do the magic already. The render, just keep it on DirectX 11, color format NV12, which is the best one, and the color space 709. Then for the rest guys, this is all like personal preference. Just simply keep it on what you wanna have it. I mean like delays and stuff, stream delays, I wouldn't utilize them since Twitch and YouTube have like a normal standard delay therefore yeah I never felt like I actually need it and with that said we're already done here guys those are all the settings I personally utilize and I would say my recordings look really really good actually and everything else beside that also I mean just take out <laughs> bro that background picture what am I doing bro what am I doing okay um yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it guys. This is just like a quick reveal of what I actually use on a daily basis for my OBS settings, um, for my live streams, for my recordings and everything. And you can check out all my previous videos. It looks really good. You can't just argue with that. And if you actually take a look at my Fortnite gameplay guys, you can see that I only run like four to eight milliseconds of input delay with these settings. So they are indeed really good and they don't add additional input delay, you know, while recording because tons of people also said, yeah, can you maybe like sort out something which doesn't give you like extra input delay. And yeah guys, this is it for 
for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me out so, so much. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask me down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace. That shit too light Being foreign, ho, come get inside Diamond, Gucci, Lee, come take a dive Kill that shit, but just don't kill the